What's going on guys? I'm going to talk to you today about something that I see done wrong all the time and I'm going to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes. What's going on guys? What we're talking about today is SMOTE or Synthetic Minority Oversampling Technique. Now this is a great technique to use when you have an unbalanced data set. A great example of this would be HR attrition, trying to predict when someone's going to leave. The majority of that data that you're going to have from your company is going to be skewed towards individuals who are still in the corporation, not those who left. Now, if you break that down into subcategories of why they left, maybe they're too far from home, they don't like their boss, they got a raise to go somewhere else, it's even more of a condensed data set. So it's a great technique to use. However, the majority of the YouTube tutorials that you're going to find that show you how to do this are going to give you the code to do it, but they implement it at the wrong point in time. Now this can be detrimental to your project that you're working on or building your model, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why right now. All right, so when you implement smoke, you're synthetically oversampling that minority in your data set. Now if you do that before your split, what ends up happening is you generate all of this synthetic data, and a lot of that data is gonna end up in your validation set. Now what'll happen is, is you'll train your model and you're gonna go to validate it and it's gonna perform well. It usually looks like it's performing a lot better. It'll be overfit or it'll overperform. Then when you put this model into production, it's going to underperform. So you know, you'll validate the model, you'll show it to your superior, your boss, maybe even a client, and you're gonna show them and it's gonna look great. They're gonna say, this is awesome, perfect, let's put this into production. Then it's gonna underperform. Well now you, you have some issues and, and you're not gonna know why. And this is exactly why. What you want to do is you want to pull your testing or validation set out, leave it alone, don't touch it, and you want to do synthetic sampling just on your training set. That way you ensure that all of the synthetic data that's generated is only in the training set. Then when you go back to validate, you're validating on data that's actually from the data set, and it's going to tell you exactly how your model's actually performing. Don't fall into the trap, guys. Don't just hop in and uh, oversample your data before the split. Always do it after the split. Now, if for some reason you disagree with me or you think I'm wrong, or if you can think of a reason why you would want to implement smoke technique before the split, let me know down in the comments. If this video helped you out, guys, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the little bell, so that way you'll get notifications in the future. I'm gonna continue to make videos like this, just quick tips on data science, probably a lot of automation stuff, I'm kinda into that. Um, I just want this to be a community where people can come, get great information that has to do with data science, analytics, and automation. Let's make this a great community, guys. Leave comments down below, help people out, give tips when it comes to the smoke technique. As always, guys, until next time, try not to work too hard.